How to recover files from a broken laptop. G-modism. Take the laptop and flip it over. We are usually looking for a compartment that looks approximately like this. It's usually attached with a couple of screws, so remove them. There we go. And if we open this little compartment, there is the hard drive. Now it's a little bit hard to see, but if we look here, there is a connection here. So what you do is you take the compartment and slide it to the side. And it's now disconnected and you may now take this uh, little hard drive out. And there we have it, a hard drive. If you need to extract and insert an M2 drive, it's really simple. It's just a simple screw and it's spring like that. But if you don't have any free M2 slots, you will need an USB adapter. But most computers has one or two M2 slots. If you use your laptop drive and a desktop computer, you will connect the SATA port here. And from the PSU, you will connect the power here. The same power that goes to the other drives in your computer. Just like that and you're connected up. To insert this hard drive into another laptop, we'll need to flip it open to open it up. So we have a good couple of screws here. So if I open this up, for example, we can see that in this compartment, we have this laptop's actual current hard drive right here. So these are SATA hard drives. Many uh, more modern laptops have uh, not SATA hard drives, but M2 drives, SSD drives directly on the motherboard. Right, then we have a last compartment here that's openable. And here you can see we have an empty SATA connector here. So this is namely a space for another hard drive. And then you can take your hard drive and insert it. And that's basically all there is to it. When your computer starts, it will display a key you need to press to start a BIOS. It's usually F12, Escape, F9, F2, Depends on the system. You see it on screen and click on it several times until you get to BIOS. The BIOS looks differently dependent on the brand. You want to look for something called boot and click that. Down below, you see the different instructions on how to navigate on your BIOS version. To get to boot. And inside of here, I can use different keys to reorder this list. It will start with the one on top. If you boot from the wrong drive after installing a new drive, you simply need to change the order these are in. So right now, it's this one is the highest and that's correct, so it will start booting from it. However, if for example, the one you want to boot from, the drive you want to boot from is on 6, you'll need to move that to number 1 on the list, otherwise it will not boot from the right drive. When you have reordered your list to satisfaction, Go to exit and save changes. Your computer should now boot successfully. When you have booted into your Windows system, you just right click the flag and select disk management or search for disk management. Inside of here, you can browse the different disks. You can right click them and also see open. And if you open it, you can basically explore the disks and you can browse around and see which disk is which. To recover any lost files from this old boot drive, you'll basically go into it and you can see this boot drive has a typical boot drive structure for Windows. To find the files you're looking for, you're most likely need to go into the users folder. Inside the users folder, you have, well, the default, if that's what you used, but usually you have a username, in this case, admit. There is also a public account, but we'll go into our account. Inside of here, you can see the personal folders. You can copy everything in here over if you want to save everything in here. So you can also browse like pictures and I can save this folder by just clicking copy and pasting it in on the desktop I have booted from. Very handy. Now we can also browse to different locations like perhaps there is something in downloads we need to save or in desktop. So I go to desktop and I just uh, basically copy over things that was on the desktop on the old computer. 
and make sure that you basically can keep everything you wanted to keep. If there is anything you can't find, you might need to install the software Pure and Utilities, link in description. With this software, you can restore files that have been lost permanently if you feel that uh, big files or even folders are just not there. You can then select the drive, G in this case, and select Scan. This will scan the drive for deleted files and also other files. In any case, you will get a big list of uh, files and the more you know, the more easily you will be able to find them. I have better tutorials on how to find lost files that you should definitely check out if you need to use Pure and Utilities. Please refer to my other tutorials. But you basically just select the file you want to restore and you click recover and save it to your other computer and not the same drive in case it's damaged. And that's actually all there is to it. You should probably check out this video, which I think you would like. And if not, do leave a like and stay tuned for future videos because there will come a video that you will like. And of course, do check out our merch. Links in description if you want to get some cool Jimbodism gear going on there. Any case, thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you next time. This is your host Jimbodism, signing out.